Thank you again for joining us. I, I hope you've enjoyed today as much as I have. From autism to concussion management and big data and rehabilitation, we've tried to offer a glimpse of the many facets of our work here at Sargent College. To close our conference, I'm thrilled to introduce my friend, Dr. Alan Jetty. Dr. Jetty is professor and director of the Health and Disability Research Institute at the Boston University School of Public Health. He is also a former dean of Sargent College. The Health and Disability Research Institute is a nationally recognized interdisciplinary resource and research center that seeks to advance the field of health and disability research. It's my distinct honor and privilege to introduce Dr. Alan Jetty to offer some closing remarks to this remarkable day. Welcome, Dr. Jetty. Thank you, Dean Moore. Let me start by thanking you for the leadership that you provided in organizing today's conference on health matters. And in particular, to thank you for inviting me to be, to be part of it. it uh, it's been wonderful to, uh, to experience all of the presentations during the day and to uh, get up to date on what's going on here at Sargent College. Before I get into my remarks, I want to acknowledge also a few other people. I want to acknowledge my friend and colleague, Professor Karen Jacobs, who uh, was the leader in organizing the day and who's been working with uh, all the presenters for many weeks now in putting this all together. She's done an outstanding job. I also want to acknowledge all of the staff at Sargent College, as well as the colleagues from the School of Communications, as well as the Questroom School of Management, all of who worked in very hard in putting this conference together. And I also want to acknowledge our colleagues at the BU Media Productions. I've worked with them over the years, and they always do an outstanding job in putting these conferences on. It takes a village to pull together a conference such as this, and uh, uh, they've done an outstanding job throughout the day. I've had the privilege of listening in on the presentations all day, and as I reflect on what was presented in this remarkable conference, Health Matters, I'm extremely impressed, in particular, by the variety of the educational, the clinical, as well as the research underway by faculty, as well as students here at Sargent College. And I'm most impressed by the talented students who spoke at various times throughout the day at the conference. What really strikes me as I reflect on uh, the presentations, particularly in the area of research, which is what I do, it's the breadth of the research that's available to students who come to Sargent College. And I was also struck throughout the day by the number of talented junior faculty who are engaged in this exciting work, as well as the interdisciplinary nature of much of the research underway here at Sargent College. The amount of research, the range of research presented during Health Matters reflects in my view, tremendous progress as I look back on Sargent College and where it was 20 years ago when I first became dean here. I think it bodes extremely well for the future and it creates tremendous opportunities for students who choose to come to Sargent College here at Boston University. Just think about the topics that were covered today. Exercise interventions for adults with Parkinson's disease, understanding core brain networks for cognitive emotional interactions in conditions like autism, the range of communication science in the treatment of aphasia, voice disorders, stuttering, and other language impairments, the interdisciplinary treatment of concussion, nutrition science to inform not only policy on dietary recommendations, but also on personal eating practices, enhancing child development, the role of big data and technology in supporting all areas of rehabilitation science. You would be hard pressed to find another school that had this type of range of basic to very applied research going on by its faculty and students. And as a, as a physical therapist, I was also very pleased to see the work underway addressing the pandemic of physical inactivity in our society a topic that's near and dear to my own area of research, 
And this work is very much in line with the efforts of our current U.S. Surgeon General, uh, Murthy, who recently issued a formal call to action to encourage Americans of all ages and all abilities to walk more, as well as to transform our communities to encourage walking and wheelchair mobility. Health Matters at Sargent, in my view, comes at a very auspicious time in the history of health care in our country. This summer, we marked the beginning of the 50th anniversary year of the Medicare legislation. For half a century now, Medicare has been a reliable guarantor of the health and the welfare of older Americans in our country, as well as those with serious disabilities. And it provides access to and pays for the numerous health care innovations, such as those being provided by the disciplines represented here at Sargent College. In 2012, there were nearly 52 million Medicare beneficiaries, and those enrollment numbers are growing each year by millions as the baby boom generation ages and begins to enter their retirement years. Medicare beneficiaries depend on this program to provide critical access to health care services, and this need is only going to grow in the years ahead. So this is, in my view, a very exciting time to be engaged in healthcare practice as well as healthcare research. And it's a great time to be entering the health professions such as those offered by Sargent College. Now, I wouldn't be honest, however, if I didn't temper my enthusiasm to some degree by the knowledge of how much more is needed to realize many of the goals that were discussed and presented by the faculty and students today. And I, I need to mention my fear that our U.S. Congress is not yet ready to act appropriately to support the kind of work going on here at Sargent College. Just take one example. For the past several years, our Congress has approved flat budgets for the National Institutes of Health, the primary support of much of the research that you heard about today in the presentations. The levels of NIH support today in 2015 are lower than what they were in 2012 before sequestration um, was implemented. Prospe prospects for next year are not much better. Neither of the spending bills that have been approved by congressional committees is likely headed to the president's desk for approval. Instead, Congress is expected to pass a continuing resolution that will keep the government open, which is a good thing, but it also will keep funding at a flat level. The exciting research, such as what was spotlighted today at the Sargent College Health Matters, needs more, not less, support from our government so that the talented researchers highlighted in this conference can be confident that support will be available to further their careers in the health sciences so that students, such as those listening in today, can be attracted to these professions. Now, having been for, around for a while, I'm aware that we've seen shifting cycles of funding in the past, so I remain very confident that the support that we need for the health professions and healthcare research will be forthcoming uh, from our government. So, in closing, I want to congratulate all of the participants in today's conference for an exciting day of presentations, spotlighting all the excellence underway here at Sargent College. Thank you and congratulations.